The annual Impala floodlit tournament got underway at the Impala Club. Nakuru beat Black Blood 29 points to 10 in the first match of the day. In the second match, Kenya Harlequins eased past Mwamba 15 points to 5, thanks to tries from Roxy Suchi, Eric Shikuku and Jose Odiambo, while Martin Wanjia scored a consolation for Mwamba. Meanwhile, Ian Minjire scored a brace for Impala, who crushed Strathmore 34 points to 15 to advance to the semi-finals. The state of the pitches countrywide has been a major concern for stakeholders. However, there are no problems with this pitch. It's actually a 24-7 job. These guys get in here at 7 in the morning and leave here at about 8 or 9 at night. But uh, these are ground people for the whole of Impala Club and most of our fields are actually in very good shape. There have been complaints by stakeholders about the calendar being too congested. As chairman, we have agreed to look into the season as to whether we go back to playing conferences or playing home and away matches. But I think it's a good start for the 15th season. Let's see how this plays out. So it's been a very impressive day of rugby and just looking at the turnout from the fans, uh, very, very different uh, from the Safari 7s last weekend. Uh, obviously the fans love their rugby. It has been evident today and it looks like the floodlights are going stronger year by year. Sean Carter-Villis, NTV at the Impala Grounds for the Impala Floodlit Tournament.